So, this is probably the worst that a lot of you have seen me for a while. And this is a difficult video. Hi guys, I'm sorry, this is not going to be an interesting video, it's not going to be a fun video, but it's one that I need to talk about because I've got a lot of things that have been on my mind and at the moment I don't know what I'm thinking. Today is Saturday. It is Saturday, November 3rd. And on Monday, I want to say October 28th, I decided to come off social media. It was either Monday or Tuesday. Let's work it out. It was October 31st, Wednesday. October 30th. So it's either, it was the 29th or the 30th. I decided to come off social media. And the reason why is because there's been a lot of, quite frankly, shit going on in my life. I know that people are concerned with how I'm feeling and what I want to say is that there is nothing physically wrong with me, I am totally fine, it's that I am suffering really from like an anxiety that I've not had since I was at school and weirdly enough before I started this YouTube channel and this anxiety I've not had for at least five years and it's re-emerged and I just can't think straight some of the time the thing is I've got a lot of big decisions I need to make now and none of which are going to be easy. In fact, a lot of them are difficult. And I don't really want to talk about those decisions right now. There are people involved in those, some of those decisions and some of them I need to make by myself. And currently I don't know what to do and it is... It is taking up a lot of my mind, a lot of my emotional well-being. And I just can't take that. And the thing is, social media was not helpful in any way for me keeping positive. And there are plenty of reasons I have came off social media. And what that has done is that has begged some of my friends to question here why and what is going on and firstly I want to say that I think mostly if not all of my friends here 
who know what is going on know that it is nothing to do, like, this is going to sound like I'm being rude to them or anything, it's nothing to do with them, not in the fact that I don't want them to know, but in the fact that they don't need to be concerned that they've done something wrong, because it's not. In fact, before I, I posted a Snapchat that said that I'm coming off social media, and I think most, if not all people that I knew that I didn't have a problem with, I messaged to say, look, there's no, you know, I've got no issue with you. I've given a lot of the people as well that I messaged are people who didn't have my phone number, my US phone number. So if you're now wondering, oh, I didn't get a message, but you've got my US phone number, that is why, anyway. It, it's nothing, there's nothing to be concerned of. But the people that didn't have my number, or I weren't sure whether they had my number, I made sure I messaged. Because they needed to know that they hadn't done anything. I, I'd also added a load of people the day before or that day, actually, on social media, and it's nothing, there's nothing wrong with them either. It's just that I couldn't be asked to send like 30 emails out, or 30 messages out going, look, everything's not great, I'm just taking some time off. But anyway, some of the reasons I have came off for social media I think I need to share with you. In the last two weeks, or in the two weeks leading up to my mental breakdown, I had two close deaths, or close-ish deaths to me. And I'm 4,000, as I've been joking to people, I'm 4,500 miles away from home. And that's difficult enough when you're in a country and you've got no friends or family to talk to about it because they don't know who they are. Secondly, I've been having a lot of unwanted attention and a lot of unwanted messages on social media. I've had, in fact, vulgar messages and vulgar photos sent to me. I understand I'm attractive in the fact that I have a British accent and what people like to describe a formal way of speaking. There is no reason to send vulgar messages towards me. And I've not enjoyed that. And secondly, I've had some hateful messages sent to me. Off people I really don't know. So I don't understand. I mean those people have been blocked. Uh, but I was blocking people and then more people were sending stuff. And I don't really understand what I have done, or whether they are even meant for me, or how they even know of me, but why am I getting those messages? What have I done exactly? I've got some anxieties from home as well. I wouldn't describe myself as being homesick, it's more the fact that I've been, with what's been going on recently in regards to deaths and things, I've been getting some unwanted messages, or constant messages, which I'm in a situation where I can literally do nothing. 
I'm not in a position where I can afford to fly home at this time because you know I've got enough bills to think about as it is and yeah my parents would you know if they think that it's necessarily that I need to fly back they would pay you know they've signed an agreement with the university to say that that's what they'll do and that's what's on my visa and things but it isn't really necessary for me to go home at this time and I don't want to spend that money and I'm here and there's nothing I can do about it I mean the situation's sad enough as it is but there is nothing I can do and to be constantly reminded of the situation when you've got enough things on your mind I've had three papers due in this week alone it is not helpful now this is my own wrongdoing but I did get some backlash as well having posted a comment on social media it was over the incident on Ryanair sorry the camera cut out there but like I said it involved a racial abuse situation uh, on a Ryanair flight and I didn't agree with the airline's policy and what I got was a load of backlash off white British and white Europeans uh, who I have subsequently blocked again but saying that I'm wrong and Ryanair did enough and did more than enough because the victim that was abused was moved on the plane now I don't know what they're thinking and I don't want this to be in a backlash towards them but I don't agree with the victim being moved at all and I think the perpetrator should have probably been removed from the flight you know that's, that's my personal opinion but you know I'm standing in the fact that I don't think the airline did enough in compensation things for this woman who was racially abused you know that's my personal opinion and if you want to stand in the way of me wanting progress in bloody race relations because the problem is in the UK that people are so up with themselves thinking that Britain doesn't have any racism anymore it's all the United States I live, I'm currently in southern Texas southern Texas, the southern United States and I feel, especially in Houston, that there is more racial equality here than there is in the United Kingdom right now. And people will be shocked for me to say, you know, say that. But it's bloody true. Because people admit, oh, you know, oh, we don't have a problem. Yeah, but that's why you're more likely to get searched if you're a black male in London by, I think, something like eight times. Yeah, that's not exactly racial equality at all. You know, that's my own personal opinion. And finally, like I say, there's just been unwarranted comments, and the thing is, as well, I've had... People, you know, I've sent messages to people and things, and I've not had responses as well some of the time. And it's a little thing, but it has really, because of everything else, it has really blown up my anxiety to a point where that is why I have had a break off social media. And <laughs> it has also coincided, weirdly enough, with a break off coffee to calm my anxiety which you I know a lot of people will be surprised on here tonight but I have not missed one bit I haven't even thought about having a cup of coffee all week 
because I've just been drinking water and trying to cope with everything else. Anyway. So, yeah, that is why I've come off social media, probably. And it has allowed me to think about some things that I want to do. And what I do want to say is I am still having a great time here in Texas, regardless of this. It's just that it's all coincided while I've been out here. I know, I think I know what has triggered my anxiety. And weirdly enough, I think I've kind of wrote a paper on it to the professor, just hoping that they get the... Uh, the professor didn't do anything wrong at all, it's just there was a video that we watched and I think I said to somebody not long after I went, you know, that's the way I was treated at school. And I think what it's done is it's brought back a load of memories and has triggered that anxiety again. But yeah, I have made friends over here and things are going okay. It's just that the last few weeks I felt a like isolating myself a bit. I've just not wanted to socialise some of the time and yeah I've also felt lonely at the same time and I don't think that helps but I needed a break and I need to figure a lot of stuff out for myself and I still do. I think I am going to come back onto social media. I think by the time this video is up, which I think I'm probably going to just get this video up pretty much straight away where over the next couple of days I'm not going to do it on my weekly schedule. Again, that's why there's not been videos as well. Because I think people just ought to know what's been going on. And one more thing is that I did talk about this in a video a lot longer ago. One of the things that I have been thinking about is that this is a whole video for itself, but I need clarity on a diagnosis of something. And I'm just going to say it's the A word. I think I need clarity and I need a diagnosis whether it's that or not. That is triggering a lot of things and means that I'm struggling with socialising and things. And no, by the A word I do not mean anxiety. Hopefully that is all for this video. I can't say that you've enjoyed it, but I hope you've listened to my piece and hopefully I'll see you with a much more positive video later on this week. Run, run like the wind, don't wait for a thing. There is nothing here for you. Tell me tomorrow, I'll wait by the window for you. Big house for you. Away by the school.